We are visiting the Doris Ranch. It's located in Springfield, Oregon. I haven't been here in probably 25 years. It has over 9,000 filbert trees. Y'all might know it as hazelnuts, but as people in Oregon call them filberts. Isn't this amazing? So beautiful. So we're gonna go on a little tour and check out. I haven't been here in forever. There's some outbuildings. When we come back by, it has like the Thomason and the Briggs home here. It's an old piece of machinery over here. It's just absolutely beautiful. I wanted to get a really good walk in, so this is what we're gonna do. I'll be stopping and starting it because I'm sure y'all don't wanna just see a bunch of trees. The Mab, Net Harvester. That's an old thing. That's pretty cool looking. Definitely have seen better days. Very cool. Here we're going into a part of the orchard. Have really nice walking trails. Have a little crick. Let's see. Tells you a little bit about the trees. And the hazelnut orchard, aka Philberts. Look at that, you can tell spring's coming. <laughs> I forgot how many tons they said it produces each year, but this is a working a working orchard. It's a working ranch. They even have um Look at all that pruning they did. They even have tours and classes, which is really cool. You know, you the you get into it for free, but if you want to do any of the tours or guided tours or classes they have, then you have to pay for those. But a lot of school kids come here. If these trees could only talk, just beautiful here, just beautiful. Let's go see if we can find some of the houses. There's more those of the orchard. Those are newer ones. I'm going to walk over to that house if I can here in a minute. We have restrooms. There's a cool looking barn. I'll get up there closer when the gal and her kiddo is gone. Anyway, it's beautiful. Got people picnicking there. And I believe the caretakers live through there. That is beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? They have weddings here, reunions. They have a lot of outbuildings. But that's pretty cool. Very cool. Uh, family reunions. There's another placard. It became part of the park in 1972. Left in a memorial, that's really wonderful. Let's see if we get closer to this house. I'm doing some good walking in today, y'all. 
Oh, look at that. This is where, you know, you can rent this for weddings. I love those doors. <laughs> the picnic tables. Of course, they're right by the restrooms. That doesn't seem too appealing to me. But I'm going to walk up here and get closer to this house. Is this not a cool house? Of course, it's boarded up. I remember as a kid, people saying it was haunted. But could you imagine, it has the porch, sitting out here, kids playing, dad doing farm work, mom was probably cooking, cleaning. That is so cool. What an awesome house. If walls could talk, right? Just beautiful. <coughs> oh, you can tell allergies are coming. There's another orchard right there. Some beautiful old growth. Look at this tree. This tree is cool. Look at that. Nice big old hole going through. Hopefully it's stable. The little hole there probably has a, a squirrel living in it. Oh, this tree shaded many a days, I'm sure. So cool. Oh, and look at this. Daffodils. Spring is coming. Those are beautiful. Just beautiful. Some more outbuildings. That looks like an old horse stable right there. That one looks a little newer. Just beautiful. I love it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Let's look at that house one more time. Beautiful. Okay, so that was super nice. There's a lot of areas closed off because they had a pretty good storm here last month. So a lot of trails and things are closed, but that's okay. Um, got out and walked and I was hoping to be here a few hours, but there's not a few hours worth of stuff here to see because like I said, things are closed off. But I'll try again next time I'm in town. I know there's a Ben and Kay Doris through Lane County Park. It's a park, I know about that one because I used to uh, take care of that along with, I think there was 17 <laughs> different little um, park areas and stuff. But yeah, um, it was in the wildfire. I am gonna go, I was gonna go up there today it just breaks my heart every time I do go uh, because I lived there for so long up in Blue River, Oregon and that fire a few years back just wiped out so much. But yeah, this is uh, this has been just great. It's just beautiful here. And God has blessed me with walking. I'm excited. Went and got my laundry done and all that good stuff so I guess I'll find something else to get into but don't know what we will see anyway y'all have a blessed day hope you enjoyed the Doris Ranch just an amazing place talk to you later this is Gracie I'm out bye well this is the day after my Doris Ranch and I kept the McKenzie. I was gonna go further up, but it's just so sad. I know one day it's gonna be beautiful. Look at all those trees that were burnt. It used to be so full that you couldn't even see the mountainside. 
it cracks me up. There's the little bathroom I used to clean. That survived. But isn't this beautiful river? This is a McKinsey. It is so cold because it's snow runoff, but it's very crystal clear. It really was nice. I had a home right on the river for years and years, and it was just really nice watching the salmon come up and spawn and it was great fishing just beautiful even with it all burnt up it'll grow back and there used to be a deck right there that you could walk out on but that got burnt up it was amazing how it skipped from place to place but Thousands and thousands of acres and homes were destroyed. Anyway, have a blessed day.